when I was a young man, early 20s before or somewhere in there, I uh, used to joke that if I ever had to go to court, I'm going to sit there and when it's my turn, I'm going to get up and say, honest judge, she wanted it. And they're going to be, what? Uh, what? This is about a parking ticket? And, oh, sorry, wrong case. <laughs> I made that joke. And first time I got arrested, I was sitting in court. And, like, the morning after or some shit like that. The right to a speedy trial, you know. And I'm sitting next to this guy who looked a lot like me, probably. At the time you were looking at me. Ah, maybe not so guapo. Yeah. Got called guapo today. I was like, they didn't know I knew what it meant. So, wow, I still got it. So maybe not, but I'm sitting in court next to this derelict and he's sitting there talking to me the whole time before it all starts up. He's talking, talking, talking. This is a guy that wants somebody to hear his story. And he's saying, she wanted it. She wanted it. I know she wanted it. And I'm just like, he didn't tell me this, that part of the story, but this is somebody that's just got to talk constantly. Well, he didn't tell me the dark part of the story. He didn't tell me about the scene. Uh, but he kept saying she wanted it. She wanted it. I'm telling him she wanted it. And I'm saying, oh, my God. And he got to go before me, and he stood up, and he was just ready. And uh, they announced the case of, about an aggravated assault on some guy in another part of town. He... It had nothing to do with what he thought it was. And just the look on his face, he was ready to go. And he's, ah, ah, ah. I thought, wrong case. <laughs> I got to see it happen. It, 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 I, I got to see it. And now we're seeing it again. So I, I see something where where Ivanka is uh, supposedly be going to court on October 2nd. That's it, you know, for the, this family misdealings thing, whatever they're done in New York. I, I think it's the tax thing. And um, she comes out and files something with the court saying, I, it was her co-defendants that did it. That's the way it's worded in there who are co-defendants, her brothers, her dad, that poor guy. And uh, I'm like, Ooh. And she says, I quit doing dealings with the organization in 2017. I haven't been a part of it. But the thing is, the case goes back 10 years. And for her to be writing something down and throwing on everybody under the table, throwing your anchors under the table. Ah, yeah, they're weighing you down. That's what he meant. It's right in her case. She's throwing her anchors under the table. These people that are weighing her down, they're throwing them under the bus, basically, you know, under the table, eat it, eat it. Just eat it. Yeah. And it's their own fault for making her look so pristine all these years and so perfect and beautiful and, and quiet. You know, just like a Barbie. You don't want her to talk type of thing. Uh, she looks more innocent, so she's more believable to people. They'll say, oh, that poor Ivanka. Hmm. That rascal, the father of hers. Oh my gosh. She turned out so well compared to what she could have been in contrast to what she could have been. But 
here she's saying, I haven't been involved with it since 2017. It's got nothing to do with me. I think she is actually filling the basics, the necessities of my story. I think she's thinking about the wrong court case. <laughs>